Thank you, Chair. Uh, Mr. Wren, uh, do you recognize that the EU has any responsibility in the imbalances that you have to refer to in your opening speech and also in your article in the Wall Street Journal? The European Commission has been issuing economic and monetary policies in the last decade, and obviously these policies and regulations have been impacting uh, the economy in the European Union. So I believe you have a certain responsibility. In the same article in the Wall Street Journal, you talk about remarkable progress in those imbalances. Could you please define what are those remarkable progress? France today has said that they have, the unemployment has grown to three million people. Do we call this remarkable progress? Unemployment has been growing, and I think this is the main issue in the European Union, unemployment. Um, do you think the banking union is going to solve unemployment? The, bank, the banks are asking for bailouts, but they are not lending money to the medium uh, and uh, small enterprise. Don't you think it is time to recognize that some member states would do better out of the Eurozone, become more competitive, and be, be able to grow their economies? Thank you. Uh, thank you. So, uh, oh, as, <clears throat> especially as it is... Uh, very difficult to respond to, to all your questions in the remaining four and a half minutes uh, I have at my disposal. So I will focus on uh, today's uh, subject. Uh, you may recall that uh, today's uh, hearing or today's uh, discussion was uh, devoted to towards, uh, subject towards uh, genuine economic monetary union.